Hello, Chef Pierre. So I've got an unusual video for you today. It's about grilling. Uh, as a professional chef, I have grilled all over the world on gigantic grills and ovens and stoves, Montage, uh, South Bend, uh, Wolf, all different professional ranges, stoves and everything, you name it. As a chef, you learn to cook on anything. So my neighbor was throwing away this little hibachi grill and I said, wow, let me try it out. I had one of these when I was a kid. They replaced the uh, grill part and a couple of tips for you here. Be careful. When the chrome wears off, get a new one. You don't want to eat the chrome. Anyway, this thing's in great shape. So I thought I would uh, make a quick grilling video for you. And uh, it's nice. The vent's open. All I did was clean it off. It's looking good. They said this was sitting in their garage for 40 years. I like the fact it's made in the USA. It's good quality. And here we go. So I picked up a bag of this lump charcoal. It burns hotter than regular charcoal. This is uh, no fillers, all natural. It's basically wood and it's hot and it's fast. This particular one came from Walmart and it was uh, really inexpensive. And look what you get in the bag. Big chunks of pure charcoal. The eight pounds was like five bucks or something like that. But uh, it's a product of Mexico. Uh, a lot of good things come out of Mexico. Yeah, so we're gonna try it out. I'm just using some sticks, a little paper, a little cardboard, and the lump charcoal. There's the lump charcoal after 15 minutes. Really nice, really hot. I like to use a poker, move it around, get it nice and even, as well as I use the poker to put the grill right on. Let that grill heat up. I'll be back. All right, just a quick spot check. Looks like we're at about 76 degrees Fahrenheit outside today. Inside that grill, 570, and the coals, oh, uh, they maxed this baby out. I believe this goes to 800. Let's try that again here. Side of the grill, over 600. We touch one of them coals, over 750. Wow, that's hot. I'm just gonna toss a few peppers on the grill, some roasted peppers. If you'd like the recipe, just subscribe and search the channel. You're gonna uh, find quite a few different pepper recipes on the channel. Just wanna get these babies roasted here. And uh, well, they're moving around, I can see that. I might not be level. Lid goes on. I'll be back. A couple of things about the little hibachi here. I do like the fact that the vents are very easy to control and also the uh, the handle doesn't get hot. That's pretty cool. The lid fits pretty well and there's a few things that I like about these and there's a few things that I don't like. The legs fall off after many years. Luckily this one was in someone's garage for 40 years so it's still like new but uh, drop a comment below. Let us know your experience with these type of small grills basically kettle grills they come like this they come like this like this like this with stands with bases what do you think about kettle grills drop some comments below by the way i prefer char grillers and there's a few other brands that i like stainless steel built-ins i've cooked on grills that are 20 feet long uh, my buddy does competitions. He's got one of these good ones, custom made, Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, great grills down there in Texas. There's people making amazing grills in Pennsylvania. Actually, all over the country, there's really good grills. This one here, yeah. Those peppers are cooking.
peppers are all done. They're roasted. They're looking good. Search the channel for the recipes. Subscribe right here. Drop some comments. What do you think about these little hibachi grills? Yeah. Burning calories, getting hungry. Oh. Oh. Yes. Pepper. Four. This one is brass. This was featured in one of the big magazines. I think it was uh, Bon Appetit, Better Homes and Garden. They said, wow, best pepper mill you can buy because the quality is there. Watch my other videos, like, share, subscribe. Oh yeah, these babies are in stock. It's gonna be good. And don't forget, all things Butcher Block from your sponsor. Butcher Block, edge grain, end grain, love it. The best working surface for your kitchen. Professional chef, home gourmet, doesn't matter. Butcher Block, check it out. Now you're wondering just how good is this chicken, right? I don't always marinate my grilled chicken, but when I do, it comes out perfectly. Good idea to salt it after you grill it. There's many, many reasons why. And let's put a little more of this fresh ground pepper. Oh yeah. So now, you're interested, you better search, subscribe right here and search chicken on this channel. Knife inspection. Are your knives sharp? Are they as sharp as mine? Real quick mention here. The other part of the knife is the cutting board or cutting surface. You see I'm doing a rocking motion here, cutting some imaginary herbs. Beautiful. Same thing with the next one. Uh, the angle's not as good, but it's working. Okay? Same thing with the next one. Yeah, I like it. Wrap it tight, get the air out, shelf life, three days. The blocks. Get the best block the first time. Visit your sponsor. By the way, I'm cutting tomatoes, so I never use a butter knife. There are people that have knives this dull. They're trying to cut their tomatoes with these butter knives. What the heck are they doing? This is for spreading butter or cutting cheese. It's a little chef. He's cute. From France. Chef cooked in France with Chef Bocuse. Bocuse is renowned around the world. So you'll pick up some master chef tips on this channel. Chef Bocuse. Yeah. Amazing guy. Subscribe right here. Let's get cooking. Oh, yeah. It's going to be good. People often ask me about butcher block care and maintenance, and I've actually got all the answers for you. So I've been using this for decades and decades. 
all different shapes and sizes. It just keeps on going. One of the questions that comes up all the time is how to maintain. Oil it monthly if it's oil finish. I prefer the mystery oil. This is the best. Uh, beeswax is good too. Knife inspection. Are your knives sharp? Are they as sharp as mine? Wow! Check it out. The sponsor's got Japanese knives imported direct from Japan and butcher blocks made in the USA. Free shipping, no tax, discounts. You can't go wrong. meets the uh, silicone. However, this is uh, FDA approved food grade high heat silicone that goes to 500 degrees. You can see the end of it's just starting to wear a little bit. I like the curvature and the shape. So I got with this manufacturer and we improved the design. Uh, here we go. This is the new design. These are about 10 inches long, I believe, maybe a little longer than that. The hole allows you to hang it if you like to add a little loop of leather or string in there. You can hang them up if you want to. But anyway, no more bacteria right here. Blueberry pie, blueberry jam. Blueberries, ah. Oh, wow.
yeah, that, that is the good stuff right there. Professional cutting boards, chopping blocks, butcher blocks, custom sizes, many styles, all made in the USA. I'm just using some sticks, a little paper, a little cardboard, and the lump charcoal.